A word of warning about a wine exchange that you may have seen that's going around Facebook and more advice for online shoppers. Leah Linscheid is here with this week's Call for Action update. Hi, Leah. Hi, Susan. Well, we have to start with a big shout out to our Call for Action volunteers. They helped uh, put together our evening call-in last week where folks were able to call in with their consumer questions for an extra three hours at night. In all, we had 48 new cases, one of our most successful call-ins to date. So a big thanks to them for their dedication to the team and the cause and coming in on their off day. Well, on to some scamming social media posts to be aware of this holiday season. One you may have seen on your Facebook feed, actually, is the Holiday Wine Bottle Exchange. The poster is asking for folks to pitch in and buy one bottle of wine worth about $15, and they'll receive between 6 and 36 bottles in return, depending on how many wine drinkers join. Sounds too good to be true, and it is. I was just surprised that it was out there uh, on a Facebook message. Uh, from one of her friends. It's a typical pyramid scheme. You're never going to get what they say you're going to get. You know, you don't buy one bottle of wine and get 36 for free. Now, aside from stealing your money, the Better Business Bureau says these scammers are also looking for personal information like your home address. What's more, taking part in these pyramid schemes is illegal in Wisconsin. Now, we've talked a lot about fake apps and other mobile scams to steal your info while you're shopping online, and now the BBB here in Wisconsin is warning of websites doing the same thing to customers in our area. One to really look out for, that website that looks like it's selling high-priced items like designer clothing or electronics at a steep discount. Again, it's a theme for me. Too good to be true? It probably is, so here's how to spot one of those fake websites. The BBB says simply don't believe what you see. Real logos can easily be copied onto fake websites. And look out for fake contact information. If you don't see any at all, that is a red flag, but sometimes the site will post fake numbers, so do a little research before you buy. And double check the URL. If they use a brand name as a subdomain of another URL, for example, brand name dot website name dot com, that's probably not legit either. Now, of course, if you have any consumer problems you need help solving, our Call for Action volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 to 1. You can call for action at 608-270-2833 or ask for help anytime at our website, channel3000.com slash call for action. And hopefully we'll do another one of those evening call-ins soon. Oh, that was such so a success. Successful. Yeah. yeah, and they're fun. You have, you know, seven more volunteers in the newsroom kind of running around. There's a lot of hustle and bustle and a lot of phones ringing. And yeah. Gosh, in the 40s, that's that's a really high number for us. I'm glad you talked about the wine one, too, because I've seen that going I all have over too. Facebook. Yeah, you know? yeah. Those are words to live by. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Seriously, you've got to be so careful now. There's so much out there. I've said it twice yeah. today. I guarantee <laughs> I'm going to say it next week, so words to live by. All right, thank you, Leah. You're welcome.